In the coming weeks, many of us will sit by the fire with loved ones, and for most of us, the people we'll be sharing those moments with will be not friends, not neighbors, but family. Joining us now to tell us why family plays such a central role in holiday celebrations in Washington, D.C., Amitai Etzioni, editor of We Are What We Celebrate. Professor, it's good to have you on the line from the American Capitol, and let's just start with this. Why do we celebrate holidays to begin with? Well, we use them for actually very, very different uh, purposes. We use them to mark seasons. Uh, some of them mark spring, uh, the, the turning of the fall into winter and such. Uh, some are opportunities for us to reconfirm our commitment to values, to our religious values, to uh, there is, uh, what we have the 4th of July, our national values. We have occasions in which they are really basically what I call tension relief. Uh, in have festivals, New Year's Eve, uh, where we kind of uh, let go and uh, take a vacation from our duties. So the, the holidays are used for a very large variety of purposes. All of them is to take a break from our routine of our work uh, uh, week and day. And the reasons for celebration, have they evolved over the years? No, actually not. It's interesting, and even not across cultures. Well, the balance has immensely changed. Uh, there are some periods uh, in, in which uh, letting go, uh, relief, tension relief, has, be has become much more important, and rededication to values has uh, declined because we bec have become less religious, uh, less uh, uh, more materialistic, more hedonistic, and in other eras uh, we have, uh, in very, doing war and such, we become much more patriotic and nationalistic. These uh, days move up. So the balance between the various holidays uh, changes from culture to culture, from year to year. But the underlining sociology doesn't change. We all have a need to be committed to some things which are guide us, our moral principles, our values. We all need to be committed to larger entities, to ourselves, the family, the extended family, the community, and beyond that. And we all need moments where we can kind of relax and uh, recharge our batteries. And let me follow up on that. Well, what is it about the holiday traditions that we find particularly meaningful? Well, the, uh, really, here we go back to the family. Uh, the family today is uh, changing one more time with uh, the increased acceptance of gay marriages. And in many uh, countries, uh, it looks like the family is, in effect, disappearing. And more and more people in Scandinavia uh, never get married, even when they have children. Nevertheless, the family has been the central unit of society from the beginning of history in all civilization, all cultures. It's taken very different formats. Uh, sometimes the extended family very often is very important. Grandparents, uncles, un maybe as Hillary said, it takes a whole village to raise a child. Uh, sometimes nannies were very important. Uh, in, uh, or the Romans use Greek nannies, the Brits use lower class people. So the, the, the enormous variety in the format, but we never, never did without a family. It's the place in which we have lasting, meaningful relationship with each other, in, in which we greet new members of the society as they're born and start to civilize them because they're born uh, like a call on four and bark, and we have to make them into human beings. It's the place we send people on their last voyage uh, and grieve together. Uh, there is no other social unit which comes near in terms of its lasting centrality in nurturing uh, our most uh, deepest relationships. All right, all that being so, we still hear from many people over the course of the holidays when you say, what are you doing? I'm spending time with family. And then for a lot of people, their eyes are going to roll. Or they say, oh, I, I have to spend time with the family again, and this really isn't what I'd like to be doing, but the tradition is there and so firm, you feel like you have to. That is a bit confusing, isn't it? Well, I, I, yes, it is. Uh, but all relationships are work. In effect, all good things are work. If you look at somebody's career, which is uh, very important to most people, it doesn't come without labor and investment and hard work. Uh, when you, relationships are not different. Relationships require 
investment, involvement, commitment, time, yes, and strains. But in the end, the people who grow and go there, not because somebody puts a gun to their head, because in the end of the day, the balance uh, comes out that they rather have the lasting relationship with all its costs and strains uh, than do without it. The most miserable people by any measurement in terms of contentment, health, even longevity, are people who are isolated. So we, we, we are social animals. We, we need these lasting, meaningful relationships, and we need to pay for them. No, I appreciate that, but you, you often hear, or maybe I should ask you, do you also hear at the end of the holiday season, people say, I just had a week with my parents, or I just had a week with my in-laws, and now I need a vacation. Well, yeah, people say that. But uh, again, since you asked me, uh, I'm about to spend it with my 13 grandchildren, and I cannot imagine a, a bigger joy. And uh, yes, uh, some of them are going to uh, puke in my lap, and some of them are <laughs> going to be uh, up at night and won't let me sleep. And I enjoy every minute of it. No, <laughs> not, that's not true. But, uh, in the end, in the end, uh, people say these things, you know, like when, you, uh, when, I, uh, when somebody runs a uh, long distance, they say, oh, my God, my back hurts me or, you know, or my feet hurt me. Uh, but we need to look beyond these expressions, which they're, they're not superficial, because we need to realize that relationships are not all romantic and f wonderful. They have a darker side, but, but the balance uh, it, it, it is completely compelling. You are a rich man, sir, if you have 13 grandchildren. Congratulations. That's I wonderful. Indeed I am. Tell us Thank then, you. tell us this. How do holiday rituals specifically reinforce this notion of family and family ties? Well, again, the enormous differences and they all come out to, in the end of the same thing. Some family have traditions. Uh, some people... On Thanksgiving, we, we celebrate, sit around the table and ask everybody to tell something about uh, which they are thankful. Uh, we had a little Christmas party in part of my family last night, and we each put $25 in a pot, and then we had a drawing to determine which charity is going to get that money. Each family has its own uh, tradition, so part of it is uh, coming back to rituals, which on the one hand are kind of silly and superficial, but, but they give you this sense of stability and con, uh, continuity. Uh, uh, second, it's the place where people catch up with each other. Uh, it's true that in this age of uh, Facebook and email, there, there are other ways of doing it. But uh, I make, uh, for instance, personally, uh, to be, make sure that I, I, I visit with each one of my family members for a little one-on-one uh, -on -one, uh, conversation. And I do it every time, so by now, we can, it's the time our guards go down a little, and we can relate much more deeply if we can, we can on the phone or on the internet. So we, we reestablish the depths of our uh, relationship. So each family uses, uh, some people sing together, some people play board games. Uh, some, of, uh, some of the most uh, enjoyable memories of my family, is we play a, a picture, the, where you, uh, what do you call it, the game in which somebody, uh, has to guess a phrase which you dramatize you. Pictionary. Uh, and so, yes, yes sir. <laughs> and so, uh, as I say, different families will use different devices, but, but these uh, continuity of these ritua rituals uh, and the opportunities to reinforce and deepen relationships are very important. And the other dimension is a commitment to values. People pray together. Uh, people, as I said, made donations together to a cause. Uh, I'm sure tonight many parents will talk about uh, what happened uh, in the shooting uh, in, in uh, elementary school. W what is the meaning of that? We, we comfort each other for our losses. We always talk about those we are missing, which could not uh, we, we no longer be able be, uh, to join us. So uh, it's really very rich and very, uh, I hate that word, multidimensional. But maybe in this case, it's appropriate. Maybe you could help us understand one last thing here, and that is it often seems to be the case that, as you just pointed out, sitting around in a room for a couple of hours playing board games or just enjoying each other's company is, at the end of the day, equally as memorable, if not more memorable, than, say, that $5,000 European vacation that you may have taken. 
Why is that so? Well, I, I really appreciate that question because in the end, we are not materialistic uh, creatures. We need affection and respect. And what happened through a, a, uh, our particular culture, and it's not true for others, that we decided that objects are the best way of showing success, of showing respect, for showing love. That commercial diamonds are girls' best friends, or buy her any, promise her anything but buy her arpege. Uh, the, the idea is that, that objects are your best friends, and giving an object is a sign of affection. And in effect, the objects, these materialistic things, intermediate between us and the other person. Uh, and they, in effect, hide uh, uh, what is a much more genuine uh, showing of respect and affection. And when we can get beyond that, scrape away uh, this uh, 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 holiday uh, uh, gifts, when they are really gifts rather than just symbolic, uh, we can get to give her a hug, listen to her pain, have a good conversation, have a good walk in the woods, play that group game, uh, pray together, uh, they are much more meaningful and therefore more memorable. That's a wonderful answer. Professor Azioni, uh, we all here want to wish you the best uh, of this holiday season, and we hope that you don't have to wipe too much vomit off of your lap from your 13 grandchildren. <laughs> Congratulations best again. Best to you and your best to you all. Thank you so much. Good talking to you tonight. Support Ontario's public television. Donate at tvo.org.